part of the reopening process. Uh, we do uh, listen uh, to the various uh, stakeholders uh, who present their plans. Uh, we even uh, can reconsider uh, as time has gone on and conditions have changed uh, certain aspects of reopening a particular uh, business or activity. Uh, in this case, uh, both uh, Fenway and uh, the Gillette uh, groups presented uh, plans to us. With regard to Fenway, uh, their season being much more limited, uh, being uh, one from now through the end of September, uh, directly uh, uh, coincides with the return to school and the return of many uh, kids uh, back to college campuses. And it didn't seem appropriate for us to allow uh, for that uh, venue to be occupied with fans. Uh, relative to Gillette, uh, their season, at least relative to the uh, football team, is longer in duration, uh, but uh, also uh, considering the return to school and getting kids back onto campuses, uh, we uh, are not allowing fans uh, through uh, September, but we would be willing to look at uh, the opportunity in the future, depending on what the circumstances are. But there are a lot of factors that go into that. We're very pleased to see live games. It was really fun uh, to see the Bruins and Celtics play yesterday. And I've heard from a lot of people that it's, uh, it's really uh, feels normal to see, see a game that you don't know the ending to. Uh, having fans in the stand is a whole different game and we'll continue to monitor that. Uh, we very much appreciate the professionalism of uh, the Gillette um, uh, and the Patriots team, the Revolutions and the Red Sox, uh, just really uh, doing a great job and trying to manage through difficult circumstances. They've been a, a really great partner with us.